Hi YouTube, welcome back to the next episode of the Joy of Life Challenge. We are back in today's episode and we're actually going to be starting off with some cast makeovers because your girl's been busy recently and I need to feel a little bit more zen and four kids and a dog is not zen, okay? It's really not. So we're just going to chill a little bit in cast before we start. Um, but you might also notice some messages right over here. These are from our friends over on Twitch, which is actually where I stream this series live. As always, if you guys want to go ahead and check me out, the link is in the description. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play some Joy of Life today. Okay, um, what does our baby wear? She's wearing yellow. I think we're going for yellow vibes for Ginger. So um, this is her formal wear. So this will be like family parties. Oh my God, that's so cute. I love this dress. That's a good party wear dress, but I'm thinking something more formal for, for formal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, what about we go with this and we'll pair it with some little like white shoes like that. She's so cute. Honestly, I love Ginger so much. She's like the sweetest little thing ever. Look how cute she is. Oh, I changed her hair. Um, I gave her a little makeover and I changed her hair a little bit. But I'm thinking for the formal wear, we can change it again. <gasps> oh, guys, look at these pajamas. Remember their whole entire like upbringing they um they wore uh, sorry their bedroom was um like underwater themed you know like with fish and things like that so i could give them matching pajamas that have little fish and a little seahorse on it that's perfect if you ask me <laughs> um okay outfit i like this one <gasps> so cute look at her oh my god she's literally the sweetest little thing ever isn't that the one charlotte is wearing Oh, is Charlotte wearing this one too? Okay, hold on. I'll swap it then. We'll go for this one. We'll go for that one. That one's cute. Oh my god, the bow at the back. Oh, that is so cute. Maybe some little... Oh, look. So cute. Okay, what's this hot weather wear? Yeah, okay. What do we do for this? A summer kit when summer is over. Look, we can all live vicariously through our sims, okay? Just set the set the weather to summer, okay? And then just, just cheat it. <laughs> oh, I like the green on her. I might do the bright green. Okay, this is cold weather wear. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, I like this. That's so cute. Oh, I like that. Maybe this with some tights for cold weather wear. That'd be good. Maybe this with like some little, some little brown tights and then like some boots. Oh, what shoes should we do with this? Maybe those. They come in more of a plain option. Yeah, maybe in like a brown. That's kind of cute. Look how cute she looks. Did someone say she has squirrel? Someone said she had her squirrel cheeks. <laughs> her squirrel cheeks. She could honestly, she could fit some, um, she can fit some foodies in there. I'm thinking she can stash some away. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have Graham and Ginger in matching pajamas. So I'm going to give him the, um, the like aquarium pajamas, but in the blue and she has them in the yellow. So... They're looking cute. I like that. <laughs> okay, so this one is party wear. Why don't we do like a little cute shirt and we'll pair it with some nice bottoms um, like that. That's kind of cute. I like that. And then pair that with some jeans maybe. And then maybe these in the gray. That works. Oh, they're kind of cute for trunks. I like that. Cute little trunks. What top should we go with? Oh, <gasps> that one's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my god, look at the little dinosaur on it. Stop. That is so cute. Oh, look at him. And then we'll give him some little blue flip-flops too. Cold weather wear. We'll give him a nice little sweater. We'll do it in the... Oh, look at him. So freaking cute. I love him. He is such a mini-me of his dad, right? I feel like he's he's so... He looks so much like his dad. Like he's literally like a little living replica here. <laughs> okay, Neve is gonna go take Ginger up to bed. She's gonna go, no, no, that's not her bed, is it? Wait, whose bed is whose? Baby, I think you're going to the wrong bed. I think she was, I think she gave penguin vibes. Yeah, okay, that's right, that's right. She was penguin, right? All right, I need to make sure that we feed Queenie who is currently asleep by herself outside. Let's go get some foodies. Let's go have some leftovers. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to, oh, have the kids got school? The kids have got school. Oh my God, I forgot they had school. And we spent the entire night out at a Halloween party. I am actually the worst parent ever. Oh, and speaking of, the nanny just turned up. That's convenient. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about renovating the bakery. However, money is a little, money is a little tight. 
So I think we open the bakery here, right? We open this bakery and we earn some money and then we use that money and spend it in the new bakery. What do we think? Oh yeah, I need to sign the toddlers up to preschool. Actually, let me just do that really quick. Okay, enroll in preschool. Um, and Ginger, I need to sign you up for preschool too. Can you wake up? Oh, she's a heavy sleeper. She is sleeping heavy. She is refusing to wake up right now. <laughs> okay, and then enroll in preschool, nice. And then I'm just gonna send the kids back off to bed because they're not even like nearly rested yet. Oh, I completely forgot. Emiliano said he didn't want to work as a teacher anymore. So he now works as a freelance writer. So I guess we should find him a gig. Um, get clicks, get paid for 38 simoleons. Co-writer for the kids' bedtime stories for 60. And eight, eight simoleons? Oh no, come on, this has got to be below minimum wage. What is this? Okay, I'm just going to take the most expensive, which is 60 simoleons. What is that? I'd say that's a huge loss in salary, but he was a teacher. <laughs> so, yeah, it's probably because his writing skills aren't great, to be fair. Well, he's got a laptop, so he can, he can work on that stuff. Oh, why is he sad? Oh my God, because we haven't done any of... Okay, what does he want to do? Bro, okay, we don't have enough money to put in a vault, so that's not going to happen. We don't have enough money to afford a hot tub, so also not going to happen. This man is really like... Like, he, you can really tell... He got raised in a really privileged home because this man's out here requesting a hot tub, a vault to put money in. Like, hello? We don't have that sort of money. Okay, how long is this going to take? You've got to be kidding me. It's usually not like this. From having visitors over where the house is filthy. Babes, it really is always like this. Like, I'm not even kidding you. The house is always this dirty. What do you mean? <laughs> Oh no, he needs his nappy changed like ASAP. Let's go and do that right now. Change his nappy. Did we decide who's gonna be our next gen yet? We think it's gonna be Ginger. However, there's still a chance that it could be Graham. So little Graham right here, here's what he looks like. He looks so cute here. Look how freaking cute he looks. But we're kind of leaning towards Ginger at the moment. We know it's Ginger though. Okay, everyone else is leaning towards Ginger. There is still a chance it could be Graham. Exactly, Graham Ramsey. He could be the next, next big thing. He really could. Right, how is Ginger? She's gonna need a bath too. Okay, you know what? Let's go get Ginger fed first. Let's go um, toddler kale. She's gonna need some food. Um, he's hungry though, but he also needs a bath. Okay, let's go do the bath first. Toddler kale, give bubble bath. Okay, why is Ginny not being fed? See, look, I was calling her Ginny already. <laughs> How's she doing in school right now? Oh, she's an A grade student. Okay, I'm gonna have her just make friends then. And Reese, does he have any like friends yet? Not really, he doesn't really know anyone. Okay, I'm gonna have both of them make friends. How's he doing school? He's only a B grade though, it's fine. Oh my God, steak tartare? Okay, sorry, uh, do we have a butler or a nanny? Because this man is making steak tartare for us for lunch. Hello. Charlotte met Grady while at school, nice. They've only got two more days of school before they age up to teenagers, which I'm really excited about. Oh, of course. Thank you very much. And Emiliana needs to go do work. Does the nanny repair things too? I'm just going to leave it and see if it repairs it. Please, please do that. Please do that. Oh, okay. Nanny's taking over and feeding. Wait, what did she do that for? Oh my God. Why did she touch her stomach? Why did she touch her stomach? There's not a child in there, is there? Guys, why did, she, why did she do that? Did anyone see her do that? Please don't ever do that again. I don't need another kid coming out of there. Oh, she's hungry. Oh, it's all fine. No worries. False alarm, guys. No worries. It's just, it's just hunger. No children here. <laughs> there is things to be done in this house. We need to give Queenie a bath. Graham's eating. He's a little, being a little bratty. She needs a bubble bath. I'm gonna have her ask the nanny to do that. Let's just do bubble bath. Okay, Charlotte, baby. Um, you've had a horrible day at school. I know, I know it's been bad, I know. Okay, what does she wanna do? She still wants to learn how to ride her bike. She wants to become friends with this little Otis kid. I think that's someone that she met, she met at school. Oh no, no, it's this kid. Do you guys get on? Eh, good compatibility, that's not bad. Okay, so Reese, he wants to finish his homework. He also wants to become friends with Otis. People really love this Otis kid, I, I swear. Um, I'm gonna have him. Please no, please don't. Please don't do that. Please just don't do that. Just, just, could you not? Oh, speaking of, actually, we need to have uh, Neve. She needs to start uh making food to sell or well, it's a bit late to open the bakery but hey better late than never right so i'm gonna have her come in here 
Um, we're going to have Emiliano repair the sink because he's... He, what is he pissed off about? He's pissed off over the fact that he's not making money. Well, you're the one who wanted to quit your job. He literally said in the last episode, that's it. I'm done with my job. I want to become a freelance uh, worker. And now he has a freelance job. He's like, I want a vault. I want a, I want a hot tub. Like, this man is deluded. I swear to God, he really thinks... He really thinks money grows on trees. Like, I actually think he might, like, have a just a different way of living. Like, I, I really think. Okay, we're going to make some um, uh, square bread loaf. That sounds kind of cute. He is used to just having money. Delulu is a lifestyle. <laughs> Recently, um, I've been playing with the parenthood pack and looking at the parenthood pack. And I found out that siblings can have rivalries with their other siblings. They can have sibling rivalries with the parenthood pack. Did anyone know about that? Because I didn't, I've been playing with the parenthood pack for so many years. I didn't even know that was a feature. And apparently they can like get traits. The kids can get traits against each other. So I would guess that Ginger and Charlotte would probably have like a sibling rivalry. So I need to have them not like each other. And then they can develop a rivalry with each other. If they age up with a rivalry, they'll get like a, another trait where it says that they're like, you can have like frenemies, you can have like childhood best friend, you can have loads of different things. So like each sibling, they age up with a specific trait if they have a sibling rivalry. So I thought we could use that to our advantage with Ginger and Charlotte. Um, okay, we're finished with that. Um, come and she put it away. Um, square bread loaf. Okay, go ahead and pick up all the servings and I'll sell them. Okay, I'm just gonna put all of these. Sorry, where's the money? Why is it only 310 per slice? That one was 80! What's these realistic prices? Okay, well, even 310 simoleons is not realistic at all. But sorry, where is the money? No, 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 this is not on. I need to be making thousands per plate of food. Where is that? I swear to God, Reese, if you continue playing like that, you're going to make us lose customers. So if you could just like not uh, do that, that would be great. Please. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Reese is really out here reducing the the quality of our bakery and our goods by playing like that. No one's going to buy anything from us. Is she telling one of them yes. off? Is she telling him off for playing the violin or is she encouraging it? I can't tell. Encourage recent behavior. Encourage completing school projects. Imagine the kid didn't even do his school project. He literally let the nanny do it. But she can be like, well done. Your teacher contacted me about you completing that school project. And I'm so proud of you. He'll be like, what school project? <laughs> set the violin for sale. Wait, can I actually do that? Can I put the violin in the bakery and set it for sale? Um, I got in a fight with somebody about um, at school about which waitress is more powerful. Um, let's go with like the equal one because we're just trying to... We're just trying to be equal here, you know? Emiliano, could you come and give Ginny a bath, please? Because she absolutely reeks. Like, I can smell her through the screen right now. And no one is bathing this kid. Where is these blueberry pancakes? Oh, she's done. Oh, sorry, not blueberry. Blueberry bagels. Okay, pack all the servings up. And then we'll get these out and sold. I'm hoping that these blueberry bagels are worth more. Because look at our funds, guys. Look how low they are. And I've sold so much already. 402, is that it? Okay, what's going on with the prices? The markup's already on. Can we just sell Graham? No, we can't sell Graham. Don't, poor Graham. Don't say that about poor Graham. Um, let's make a fancy pumpkin pie next. Right, Charlotte. Oh my God, Reese. why? Okay, that's it guys, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sell it. There, there is no way any of these kids are gonna turn out to be violinists. That it's just not gonna happen. It's being sold, I don't care, like it's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. I like it. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> Crushing his dreams. I mean, they needed to be crushed. Let's be honest. We need to put a bit of realism back in his brain because that it ain't gonna work, kid. It's not gonna work. Oh my God. Did this man really quit his job, become a writer, and he has no skills in writing? Delulu. Delulu. You guys said it and no one was lying. We'll put this in servings as well and then we'll serve them. Oh my God, guys. Guys, 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 the fancy pumpkin pie. It was it. This was what we needed. This was it. The fancy pumpkin pie. Get it in, guys. It's it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. Perfect time to get yourself some fancy pumpkin pie. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Also, I'm getting rid of the holiday gnomes because they're really annoying. So they're going to go. <laughs> okay. 
let's um how are the kids doing you're hungry again um let's go feed graham is the, is she still not been bathed oh my god she's finally being bathed she's finally doing it no 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 i'm cheating i'm so sorry that's not gonna work for me i'm so sorry that it just ain't it it's just really not <laughs> he's actually falling asleep writing this kid's book bro <laughs> look at him you asked to quit your job to do this you asked for this i'll go make him a coffee good point make a coffee let's do uh, a cappuccino okay why are the why are the kids not being fed what's going on here why are the kids starving oh yeah and bathe queenie he, yeah he's like he's done with this right refill the bowl and then can we bathe queenie can we do this can we can we listen okay give him some food are you really giving him popcorn for dinner why like actually why okay i should really close the bakery it's like 11 p.m it doesn't really make sense that it would be open right now <laughs> i'm gonna go close it we earned good money today though good good money okay are you are you going to toilet yet oh my god Ginny! go to poo poo's all by yourself look at you kiddo good job okay you go ahead to sleep and then why don't you ask for um to go to bed by neve oh <gasps> so my charlotte's birthday i know i can't believe it we're gonna be having teenagers i literally cannot cannot wait all right the kids are in bed nice nice they're getting ready for school tomorrow both of them did their homework. Good job, kiddos. Proud of you. I'm going to have Neve go upstairs and go get some sleep. Um, she can't because of her sleep disorder. Ooh, we could have her make things for Thanksgiving tomorrow. You know what? Let's do that because I want them to spend like a family Thanksgiving together. So let's make something. Okay, guys, what would you eat at Thanksgiving for dessert? I'm pretty sure I ask you guys this every single Thanksgiving but I just forget every time. <laughs> like key lime pie, lemon cheesecake, pecan pie. I swear someone said that last time. I swear someone said that. Raspberry lemon tart, raspberry pie, strawberry cheesecake, sweet potato pie, pecan pie. Okay, everyone's everyone's calling for pecan pie. All right, let's just do the pecan pie. And if we've got time, we'll do the, we'll do the other one too. Um, oh, look at all these people getting married. Anyone we should know about? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, there's no way right now. There's no freaking way. There's no way. There's no way. Tommy is pregnant again. There's no way. There is actually no way she is pregnant again. Where is she? Is she married? She's not. She's not even married. Oh my God. She's a troubled child. Okay, so if you guys don't know, Lucia, who is um, Neve's best friend, um, she has a daughter who's now like older, you know, she's, she's aged up. She's probably like in her twenties right now. She already had a baby with Neve's, um, brother-in-law. She, yeah, she had a baby with Neve's brother-in-law, but now she's gone and got herself knocked up by Makuntu Nakuji, who I don't even know who this man is. And she's not married to him. She's not with him. I want to know if he's married. Maybe she and Enzo are meant for each other. Maybe. Maybe we were sitting here thinking that she was the innocent one this entire time. Maybe she was not. Huh? Maybe we got it wrong, guys. Okay, get leftovers. Let's have some steak tartar. Fancy. And then I think she should be able to sleep now. No, she literally cannot sleep. Okay, would you guys... Do you want a woohoo? Is that what you want? Would woohooing help? No more babies. Wrap it up. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Okay, you know what? I am going to have Emiliano. Uh, sorry, I'm actually going to have Neve Go and talk to Emiliano and say, look, okay? I'm kind of done being pregnant. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like we've we've done our we've done our work for the, for the you know, um, we've done our work for the planet out here. You know, we've reproduced. Um, and I really think we should start using protection again. So if you wouldn't mind um, whipping out the, you know, the sea dom, you know what I'm saying? They're repopulated dodos are all by themselves. They really have. <laughs> He does want to express his undivying devotion um, to me. So I'm going to have him do that. Tell her how much he loves her. How much he can't wait to marry her. And how much he hopes that his mum and dad will pay for the wedding. <laughs> In fact, actually, whilst we're at Thanksgiving with the family tomorrow, I'm going to see if they'll offer to pay for the wedding. They're still so awfully adorable. I know. They're so cute. Oh, look at them. So cute. He wants to vacuum the house. I get that. I get it. <laughs> Okay, why don't you guys go propose scandalous question? Okay, go propose a scandalous question and then go and do some woohoo. Woohoo on unconventional object. No, 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 just in the bed, please. 
Just do it. Just go vanilla. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, go do your woohoo. Oh no, there's no way he's coming all the way down. There's no way he's come all the way down the stairs. Mummy and daddy are very busy right now and you need to go back up to bed. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. He's used he's used a C-Dom. He's used a C-Dom, guys. We're, we're protected. No babies here. <laughs> Charlotte has another loose tooth. I swear to God, this kid's teeth are like falling out left, right and center. Okay, so I am going to set up an event, like a family dinner for everyone to do. So I'm going to add the event. And of course, we are going to go over to the families. Let's just do a dinner party. Um, We've already done a gold event, so no need to do that. The host will be Emiliano and Neve, but technically the host will actually be um, Emiliano's parents, I think. So we want Charlotte, Reese, Carolina, Ginger, Graham to be there. Um, we also want Bernard. And I, I actually think I'm going to invite Enzo. Because he did come to the Halloween party. That'll be it. The caterer. Um, we'll have uh, Neve make the food. And then we're going to be celebrating at the DeLuca residence. And we're going to be doing the dinner. F it's going to start at three. Do we invite his pregnant, like, soon-to-be ex-wife? Actually, guys, let me know. Do I invite his pregnant, soon-to-be ex-wife? I don't know. Does she come to Thanksgiving? Or would she go have Thanksgiving with her family? Thanksgiving isn't Thanksgiving without drama. Invite both. You think I should do it? Okay, let me, have, let me invite her as well then. We're also going to invite Kaori there as well. We need Enzo to have a redemption arc, please. He's too fine. And look, if he redeems himself, then that's fine. But right now, he's looking unredeemable. He cheated on his pregnant wife and got another woman pregnant. Okay, like, I just feel like there's no saving this man. I really do, guys. I just, I can't see it. Um, What should you have for breakfast? What are you grabbing? Did you just grab that pecan pie? Oh my God, your mom is going to kill you. Oh my god. There's no way. You know the pecan pie that her mum made for Thanksgiving? Hey, oh, she's like, this is so good. Thanks, mum. Well, what a great breakfast. <laughs> what a brat. <laughs> Charlotte should be a cheerleader. Yeah, she does kind of give cheerleading vibes, isn't she? She does. She does still want to attend a sleep over a slumber party event. Right now, the house isn't really big enough to have her friends stay over, though. All right, you know what? Why don't you, um, have you got your bike? Can we travel on your bike? No, we just, we just, what about Reese? Is Reese going to be coming? Probably not. Let's just have Charlotte go to the park or something. I don't really want to send her anywhere too far away from the house. I'm probably just going to send her to the city park because, um, she probably wouldn't be allowed to go anywhere further. Invite your new friend Grady. Um, and then invite your other friend Otis, and then we'll probably just- Oh, invite Cameron too, you're friends with her. And the other girl? No, you can't invite her? Okay, just invite them then. So the only thing that bothers me right here is the fact that this kind of looks a bit strange, because even though Cameron is her friend and they went to school with each other, she's like probably like the year above or two years above, but she literally looks like- I mean, for one, she looks like a little strange. And two- um, she looks like she's, like, way too old to be their friend. So, <laughs> it just feels awkward when you, when your kid's, like, they, they're not the same age. Let's just go roller skate together. Oh, my God. This girl's so good at skating. Oh, my God. That could be you, Charlotte. That could be you. Go get your skates on. Let's see how she does. Oh, she is not good right now. <laughs> she is not very good. Yeah, we're going to need to work on that, babes. going to need to work on that. Oh, no. She knocked out another tooth. She had a wiggly tooth and she just knocked it out by falling over skating. Look at her tooth. Oh no, let me see. Open your mouth. Oh, she's pissed. She is pissed right now. <laughs> she is upset. <laughs> There's another kid over here. Say hi. Lena. Oh, what a cute name. Hi, Lena. You want to be friends? Philip. Philip's cute. I like Philip. And then who's this? Carrie. Oh, these are all such cute names. Okay, let's go say hello. What can we do with our friendos? Uh, maybe we go on here. Take. Let me add them to the group. And then let's all go and shoot around together. Oh, honey. You really came out with the, the interesting fit for, for uh, 
basketball. I swear to God, this is so unfair. Cameron's like so much older than the rest of them. So she's very clearly going to win. This seems so unfair. <laughs> what is this? She wants to have a picnic. That's kind of cute. Oh, we do have um, Thanksgiving going on soon, though. You know what? I'm going to leave her at the park since she's making friends and all that good stuff. We will go back to Neve. And uh, I think we need to start working on some food for Thanksgiving. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to give her some energy because she didn't sleep while we were gone. First of all, we're just going to open the bakery just for a little while. Just in case anyone wants to buy any Thanksgiving uh, desserts for Thanksgiving. Yes, yes. Um, and in the meantime, I will have her go and cook up a grand meal. We will do the turkey dinner for Thanksgiving. Um, Reese is making a mess. Can someone go tell this kiddo off? Parenting. Could you please um not do that, please? Oh my god! With their romance going so well, Mookie Mookie Two has moved in with Tommy. This could be the start of a beautiful future. Oh my god, she's getting serious with this guy. Oh okay, so it's not just like a random fling and she just got pregnant. I was th really thinking she was out here like getting randomly pregnant again <laughs> after she just got pregnant with Enzo's baby as well. Yeah, I'm happy for her. Good for her moving on. You remember how upset she was about finding out about Enzo? She was really upset. Who has the vacuum? Neve has it. I'm going to give it to Emiliano. And then I'm going to have Emiliano go upstairs and start vacuuming upstairs a bit. All right. How's the turkey coming along? Beautiful. Love to see it. Good job. All right. We should be ready to go to uh, Thanksgiving soon as well. I'm just going to have Charlotte come back because um, I'm sure she's been told by her parents to make sure that she's back in time because we are celebrating Thanksgiving. Emiliano, um, you can give Queenie a bath afterwards as well. Oh, don't you just love it when you sell a, a slice of pumpkin pie and you just earn 1.5k per pumpkin pie slice? Look how much money we've got. <laughs> Guys. Opening on Thanksgiving, everyone's going crazy for their pumpkin pies. I just love to see it. I really do. Um, all right, so we've got the turkey dinner. I will take that in my inventory. And also the half-eaten pecan pie. I will take that too. Thanks, kid. Um, you know what? I'm actually... Um, she's not going to have enough time to make another one, I don't think. So I'm just going to have a go have a shower and just get ready um, to leave. Is he going to go bathe Queenie? Oh my god, please tell me he's going to bathe Queenie. Please bathe the dog. Hallelujah! He's bathing the dog, guys. Look! Queenie's finally getting a bath. From the opposite way, but it's fine. I don't care. She's getting a bath. And that's all that matters right now. <laughs> that's all that matters. Oh, look at her dress she's picked out for Thanksgiving. That's cute. I like that. You kiddos look cute. Are these kids picking on each other? Oh my god, look at Reese and Charlotte, like, fighting each other. <laughs> look at them. And also, look at this majorly buff guy in the back. Oh, they're enjoying it. Okay, good. As long as they're having fun. Reese, come on. I keep telling you. We get it. You want to express your creativity, but that's just not going to work. You know what, guys? I'm going to give him a timeout. In fact, I don't even think we have enough time to give him a timeout. Yeah, I don't know why he's acting like such a brat. Oh, and now we've got to go. So now he gets away with it. Whatever. Fine. <laughs> Okay, what are we wearing? What's the choice? Oh, we've come in outer weather wear because it's kind of cold. Oh my god, look at all the kiddos. They look so cute. Oh, they look so cute. I love that. Okay, right, we're coming in. Let's go and get some foodie served up. Um, and then I'm gonna have her come in. I think we'll do two grand meals. And we'll also do another, we'll do a ham dinner um, as well so that people have the opportunity to do to do either one. Cook a grand meal, let's do ham dinner. Actions, form group, let's grab everyone and make sure that they are coming over. I'm just gonna leave it so in Kaori, sorry guys. Um, let's just make sure everyone comes in. And then um, I'm just wondering, maybe one of them should set the table as well. All right, kiddos, come on in. Neve's finishing making the rest of the food. So we'll get the ham dinner here. Also, let's change the music. Yeah, maybe classical. Also, I feel like um, Emiliano's mum and dad would definitely listen to classical music, like jazz and stuff. Here we go. Finish that off. I should probably have everyone get changed as well because everyone's in their outer weather wear because everyone was cold. But I'm thinking we go for a formal wear. Let's go with... Ooh, these are fancy. Let's go with that dress. Emiliano, formal. Ooh, these are nice too. Let's go with that maybe. Charlotte. 
Oh my god. What a stinky kid. All right, formal. You can go with that outfit. Reese. And then you, dresser, formal. Oh, you're going with the little... Oh, the bow tie. Classic. I love that. Oh, you need your nappy change, like, right now. Let's just quickly go do that. Oh, my God. Okay, speaking of being strict, I'm going to have Neve go over to Reese, and he, she's going to she's gonna actually tell him off. She's really going to give him a timeout because he really just keeps walking all over us, and it's, it's not going to work. It's really not. He, every single time we tell him not to do that, he continues to do it. It's just, it's not going to work. Oh, my God, look at her. Go sit in the living room, have a timeout. Because apparently, you don't know where to, you know, do your paints. Because you don't do paints at your grandparents' house. Where's the food? Is he finishing it? Oh, okay, Bernard took over because she needed to handle the handle kiddo. Also, let me just cheat up the rest of his hygiene. Are all the rest of the kids good? They are. Okay, all the kids are good. Oh, my God, imagine Grandma and Charlotte both snuck food before they were supposed to. What are you doing? The food's not even ready yet. And he's like, I haven't even set the table yet. <laughs> you animals. What are you doing? I can see Reese having anger issues. Really? Maybe, maybe we should make him hot-headed as a teenager. Because I feel like he's been having a bit of a rebellious phase. Um, okay, the ham dinner is over here. Um, oh, guys, guys, not not here, please. Not here. All right, I'm just going to call everyone to the meal. We'll do it in there. Yeah, they're not going to let you set that. Just don't bother. Oh, my God, not the favorite. But but why can't Reese be the favorite? What did he do wrong? Wait, who told him he wasn't the favorite? Oh, no, who said that? Oh, by the way, guys, whilst we're here, as soon as Ginger was born, Charlotte didn't like her. You know, the whole sentiment, which is the reason that... Charlotte has a good relationship with everyone other than Ginger. Like, look at her relationship. Even with Graham, it's like halfway. Ginger, it's like nothing. So I kind of want them to like argue over the table a little bit, you know, like be a little, be a little bratty. So I'm going to have them do that. <laughs> oh no, not Uncle Enzo. Why is Uncle Enzo being so cute? We know what you did, Uncle Enzo. We know what you did. Don't even try and lie. Right, I kind of want her to be a bit bratty. Claim Ginger is an alien. Make scary face. Wait, maybe we should start making scary faces over the table. I kind of wanted to do that. <laughs> is she making the scary face? Oh, she's going to go over there and make a scary face right in her face. That's just mean. She's so mean. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's crying. Oh, no. And now it says they're difficult and they can't get too long. Yes, I definitely see them not getting along. I kind of want um, Neve to have seen that. And for Neve to go over to Charlotte and to um, um, ask her not to be mean to her sister. Like, come on, don't don't be mean. Don't be mean. Come on, there's no need to do that. She was like, I wasn't, Mum. I was just making a funny face at her. I swear, yeah, for sure. And then she'll call her a little toad licker. You a little toad licker for telling Mum. <laughs> Oh no, she called her a little toad licker. Oh no. Oh, she's just trying to hug it out. Oh my God. Emiliano's seen and Emili Oh, Emiliano's telling her off. <gasps> she's getting so told off right now. How does she feel about it? Oh, Charlotte got called out for being mean. Shame on her. Oh no, not dad getting involved and telling her off. You know what? I might have Emiliano get in a group with Enzo and like try to sort of... I don't know, maybe bridge the gap of uh, the relationship because him and Enzo have not spoken since that whole thing went down. And I feel like they should probably talk about it, you know? Um, let's have them sit down with each other. Steady seat, Emiliano and Enzo together. <laughs> Reese is going through a phase. He will pick up any instrument at any chance. He'll yell often and he'll turn up all the radios up to 11. So maybe, maybe he's not just being a little brat. Maybe he's actually just going through a bit of a phase at the minute. That could make sense. We're gonna just going to try to talk it out with him. And um, I'm going to have him share some of his melancholy thoughts and be like, you know, I didn't want this to happen between us. I didn't want this whole thing to come between us. You know, this isn't like us. Um... <laughs> I just want to sort of work it out with each other. You know, I just want him to, like, be kind to him a little bit. And um, let's talk about it. Um, let's just say that we're thankful for him. Like, thanks for coming. We appreciate having you here. Thanksgiving wouldn't be the same without you. You know, I just want him to be nice. And then I'm going to have him confess trust, trust talking. Because if you guys remember, 
when the whole thing went down, Emiliano spoke really badly about Enzo to Lucia. So that was um, the guy, sorry, the, the, the girl he got pregnant, her mum, he spoke badly about Enzo. So I kind of want him to say, like, look, I spoke badly about you too. Um, to Lucia and I feel really bad about it because he's very loyal so like he felt really bad about that situation I want him to like apologize oh and he is not happy he was not happy about that so how are you and um how are you and the wife the missus are you guys together still how's you and Kaori um I think they're currently in the process of getting Okay, that's it. That's that. That's it. That is it. Grounding. Grounding. That's it. That's the only option. There is no way. Can you just hold on one sec, bro? Because I just need to give my kid a grounding. Reese, right in front of me. What are you doing? Okay, what can I say? No toys or games. Yep, no toys or games for a whole day. That's it. That's what you get. And then clean up your stuff, please. I'm about to ship him off to the same school that Enzo got shipped off to as a teenager. That's right. He's about to be yeeted out of this family. Let's have him ask about his career. So, like, what are you doing with your job? Are you still in the military? Do you want to do something else, maybe? He's a stay-at-home dad. Oh, my God. Wait, I think he left the military. The audacity that he has to say that he's a stay-at-home dad when literally I haven't even seen him look after his kid like one time. Okay, how's the how's the bro skin going? Is the bro skin going good? Yeah, are we getting on well? Maybe we make some jokes about things. Let's make some jokes about marriage and say, well, well, hey, it's kind of funny that your marriage didn't really work out. <laughs> What, were we really surprised? <laughs> Not really. Can we go in with like a like a nice bro hug? A nice little bro hug. <gasps> Ooh, Graham likes books. They are particularly fond of books. Um, okay, that's good to know. Good. Okay, well, Graham likes books. Maybe. Maybe we can go in something like that. Does everyone? Did everyone have some pie? Let me just make sure everyone had some pie. Okay, everyone grabbing some pie, and then we can call it a night as well. Okay, can we help clean up? Because I feel bad just leaving them with all this stuff. Miliano is going to come help clean up too. Charlotte is spending some time with her nan. So cute. Reese um, is being a brat as per usual. And he's in timeout. How is Ginger doing? Oh, it's so sad because I feel like Ginger just really wants to be friends with Charlotte. But Charlotte has no interest in being friends with her. Look, literally, Ginger's like trying to talk to her sister and be nice. And Charlotte just hates her. Like, it's so horrible. Okay, I will kind of want her to be horrible to her sister again. Because she just doesn't like her sister. She can claim that she's an alien. And that she's not part of the family. Because <laughs> I feel like that's definitely something that she would say. You're an alien. You're not even part of the family. Oh my god, look at her laughing. She's such an evil little girl. I love it. Yeah, it kind of is like sisterly love, right? They might like each other eventually. Okay, let's switch and let's go back home. Ginger's going to be so sweet. No, I, I see Ginger being sweet. However, isn't next gen supposed to be a little like, I don't know, shouldn't they be a little brattish? I feel like, maybe. All right, let me bring everybody here. Let's have everyone go get some sleep. So Ginger, um, she's going to need to be put to bed. So let's go and put Ginger to bed. Emiliano, you can read Graham to bed. So it is the older twins' birthday tomorrow. They are aging into t uh, the teenagers, right? So in the next episode of Joy of Life, we're going to be having teens, which means we're going to be able to go to high school with them, which will be fun. Oh, really quick as well, guys. I'm just going to... So we have 16K in the bank account. I am going to go and transfer the money to the business account. I'm just going to put in like... 12k i think right now um and then that way we have 13k to spend in the new bakery to, to decorate it which should it should be enough i think 13k should be enough especially after we probably move this stuff over or delete it we'll do either one that could definitely work next episode we do wedding planning and we do the kids birthdays to teenagers episode after we do the wedding which will technically be monday in game so next episode we play saturday to sunday the episode after we do the wedding. The wedding's probably going to take like two hours. So I'll say we'll only do the wedding. <laughs> because honestly, it's a wedding in The Sims and it's going to take forever. So wedding happens on Monday. So I think that's good. So thank you very much for joining me. I will speak to you all 
in the next episode. So as always, remember to go ahead and leave a like on today's video. Subscribe down below if you are new and you get notified every single time I upload. And also remember to go ahead and follow me on my socials down below. And of course on Twitch, which is where I'm currently streaming this series live and come and join us live on there. I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys.